hearing of injuries, how many people are injured and how severe are those injuries? We know of two injuries at this time. One was transported to the local hospital by our EMS agency. The second was transported to uh, Baptist Healthcare by air. Uh, so two injuries, one air transported, one transported by ground. How what many people were on the, the helicopter crew? overall? We have not confirmed that at this time, how many people are on board. Are there any people who have not been extracted from the wreckage? We have not confirmed. There's still an active fire scene at this time. Um, so we're still trying to make sure it's safe to make entry into the wreckage area to determine uh, if any other persons were on board the aircraft or what the situation is. For the victims that you have handled here for conscious and able to communicate anything to you about this, the they, passenger? They were conscious and alert and able to communicate with us, yes. Were they able to tell you anything about what they believe went wrong? Not at this time, no. And did the crash happen on the Duke Energy plant or near it? No, the, the crash is actually in the wood line along the, the power line that feeds or leads to the Duke Energy uh, plant. So are there power outages? No, there was no power outages. Um, no power lines were involved in the crash at all. What was their purpose of being out in the copter today? We don't know that at this time. And do you know whether their helicopter travels over the residential area often or if this was just a rare thing? I, again, I don't know. I'm not trying to give you short answers, no, but I don't, just I don't know that answer. Just but this was a Duke Energy helicopter? That's a radio going off. I'm sorry, say that again. This was a Duke Energy helicopter? The FFA has confirmed that it is a Duke Energy helicopter, yes ma'am. Have they told you the model of the... It's a Bell 429. And did it crash into something? We were hearing initial reports that it crashed into a home or is it, it just a grassy field? It's into the wood line. Um, there is, There are no houses. The only uh, part of the wreckage is the aircraft itself. And that's the fire you're trying to contain is the helicopter right. itself? It's had a, a heavy fuel load on it and we're trying to get the fuel load uh, extinguished at this time. And the two that were transported to hospital, male, female? Both male. In age range? Uh, I don't know. Were they local men? I don't know. About what time did this happen? The, the call came in around 1.28 this afternoon. And what is the Rockingham County Emergency Services? What is your role in this investigation? Um, we... Um, Rockingham County Emergency Services responded with the multiple agencies that responded um, to assist with incident command, uh, obtaining resources that may be needed. So we are we're gathering resources and making sure that everything is in place to help mitigate this situation. Do you know how many agencies are involved overall? I do. This Rockingham County Sheriff's Department, State Highway Patrol, Eden Police Department, Eden Fire Department, Air Life uh, Medical Helicopters, Air Care Medical Helicopter, Eden Rescue. Draper Fire, Leaksville Fire, Shiloh Fire, Rockingham County Emergency Management, Rockingham County Fire Marshal's Office, and the Rockingham County EMS agencies are here on site. In a little while, the FFA will be here. Um, they actually have jurisdiction over the crash scene, and they will be doing the investigation into the, to the scene. Do you know about how long it typically takes the FAA to determine? We were notified a little while ago they should be here within the hour. Is there a black box, do you know? I don't know on that aircraft. Do you know the destination that they were aiming for today? I don't. Do you know the status of the fire, if it's endangering any of the homes out nearby or anything like no, that? No, it was all contained. The fire, the aircraft itself was, the fire was contained within the woods, um, but with the hot spots that are still there and the fuel load that's on the aircraft, um, they're currently putting foam in the area to make sure it's fully extinguished at this time. Oh, that's nice. Would you describe the injuries as non-life threatening, life threatening? I know one was airlifted, so. I, I don't know at this time. Our EMS crews made that patient contact. I did not make that, so I don't know. Other than one was transported by ground, one by air. Um, I don't know the extent of those injuries. Is it known whether one of the injured was a pilot? Their positioning was, I don't know their positioning in the aircraft. And could I also ask you, do you all know the uh, where they took off from originally? No. This time. FFA will determine all that when they get here. Do you, do you know who reported the crash or was there a distress signal sent out when they reported the crash? There were no distress signals. We have checked with local airport. They did not pick up any distress signals. Um, some of the residents saw the the, tie, the, uh, the crash. They saw the aircraft go down and it was reported to our 911 center.
or anything that you would like to add? No, I think we're good. And again, I'm not trying to give you short answers. It's just limited stuff at this point. Will you presumably be here for quite a while we tonight? Will. Do you know the like relative ETA of the FAA when they'll be here to start their We talked to them a little while ago, and they were within an hour out, so they should be. That's probably been 30 minutes ago, so they're probably half hour out from when they would. And are they coming from Raleigh or Charlotte? Or I want to say Raleigh. I, I'm not certain on that, but I want to say they come, they're coming out of Raleigh. Alrighty. And the other thing I wanted to ask you, in your experience at crash sites over the decade or over the years, are helicopters just genuinely, uh, generally more vulnerable to, to in, are their passengers more vulnerable because of the body styles or? Uh, not that I know of. I mean, I wouldn't go on record saying that. I mean, any anytime you crash an aircraft, you're vulnerable. I mean, that's that's a massive velocity into whatever it hits. So anybody's vulnerable at that point. Was the aircraft suspended up in the trees or was it on the ground? It's on the ground. Can you say whether it was on the ground nose first? Could you see the posture of the plane? The plane is laying on its side. It's that's laying good. on the passenger side on the ground. Thank you so much. I appreciate it.